Have you ever walked into a mall or a store and saw giant signs written with the word sale or with numbers with percent signs? Many retail stores, such as Old Navy and Best Buy, offer customers discounts on their products. Discounts are reductions to basic price of goods or services. Stores use percents to determine the sale price from the original selling price. Stores sometimes provide consumers with coupons. A coupon is a ticket or document that can be exchanged for a financial discount when purchasing a product. In this video, you will learn about calculating sale price, original price, and discount. Let's use our knowledge of percents and proportions to help us calculate the prices of toys on sale in the class store. Let's take a look at the first problem. If the cost of the teddy bear is originally $20, what is the sale price of the bear if it is 10% off the original price? In this problem, we need to multiply the original price by the percent of discount. Remember, before multiplying a percent, you need to make it into a decimal. So $20 times 0 0.10 equals $2. Then we need to subtract $2 from the original price, $20, which equals $18. Therefore, the sale price of the teddy bear is $18. Let's take a look at the next problem. The sale price of the guitar is $60. If the guitar is discounted 25% off, what was the original price of the guitar? Remember that 25% can also mean 25 over 100. Proportions can be used to solve percent problems. Let's use the proportion part over whole equal part over whole, or in other words, Sale price over original price equal part over whole to help us solve this problem. Let's set up a proportion for this problem. The sale price is $60, so 60 can go in the numerator of the left side of the equal sign. Now, with 25% off, the percent paid is 75%, so we need to subtract 25 from 100 to get 75 and put 75 over 100 on the right side of the equal sign. Since the original price is an unknown, let P represent the original price. Now we need to cross multiply 75 times P and put it on one side of the equal sign and then cross multiply 60 times 100 and put it on the other side of the equal sign. Our equation should now read 75p equals 60 times 100. In the next step, we need to get the variable p by itself. First, we need to multiply 60 and 100 to get 6,000. Then we need to divide 75 on both sides of the equal sign. Thus, p equals 80. So the original price of the guitar was $80. Let's take a look at the next problem. The original price of the toy truck is $45. The sale price is $27. What was the percent discounted off the original price of the truck? In order to begin solving this problem, we need to remember that percent of change equals amount of change over the original amount. The percent of change formula can be used to find the preem discount. Thus, the percent of discount equals original price minus sale price over original price. 
So the percent of discount is equal to the original price, $45, minus the sale price, $27. The difference is all over the original price, $45. $45 minus $27 equals $18. $18 divided by $45 equals 4 tenths. Now we have to write the number as a percent, so we need to multiply our quotient, 4 tenths, by 100 in order to get a product of 40. Thus, the original price of the toy truck was discounted by 40%. Now, in order to conclude our shopping trip at the class store, we need to find the total cost of all the toys by adding all of the discounted items we want to purchase. The sale price of the teddy bear is $18, plus the sale price of the guitar is $60, plus the sale price of the toy truck is $27, which equals $105. So, the total cost of all the items is $105. Can you think of the last time you saw a coupon or an advertisement for a sale item?